dear students in my previous video i have taught you objective of aim and objective of muslim league in this video i am going to teach you factors leading the formation of muslim league means how many reasons were there how many causes were there that led to the formation of muslim league this topic i would like to teach you with reference to this topic first heading i would i would like to discuss loss of sovereignty by moguls mughal rulers dear students you know that british established their supremacy in india after dethroning the mughal rulers who were the followers of muslim islam and therefore the muslims became bitter enemies of the british government meaning earlier moguls were rulers moguls were replaced by britishers and in 1857 what happened when revolt of 1857 started so mughal emperor bahadur shah became leader of the revolutionary and and after that when it movement was suppressed so british british authority british government british, british people thought that muslims are our bitter enemy one more point the bahabi movement also started so bahabi movement main target was there to remove the britishers from india so anti british sentiments existed in each and every part of the nation but british government observed that ki muslims are leader and they treated muslims okay suspicious meaning they they believe that 1857 was started by a muslim rulers muslim zamindar and muslim people and they regarded the the muslims were their bitter enemy and after that they treated muslim like a second class citizen and they wanted to discourage muslims finally the muslim society was not developed as a hindu in respective time so only this much region was not there more other regions were there i am talking with reference to the muslim league now british policy of divide and rule second point as we have discussed above after the first war of independence in 1857 the british became apprehensive of the safety and stability of their empire in india they saw unity between hindu and muslim as a threat to them thus to check the growth of united national feeling in india and to encourage communal and separatist tendency in india indian pol policies they decided to follow the policy of divide and rule in 1857 they knew that if hindu muslim unity will be existed it will be continue so again this type of revolution revolt took place and that will be very dangerous for british empire and one more point i would like to mention america was also the colony but america got independence now british intelligence yeah british government completely focused on indian empire at any cost any rate they did not like to lose this empire at any cost any rate they wanted prolong of the british empire so to sustain their empire they introduce some policy so first policy i would like to mention divide and rule and with reference to the divide and rule some example i would like to mention then you will understand in 1871 this is fact and fact should be mentioned because it will be a kind of a example supporting supporting facts are there 
लॉर्ड मेयो द गवर्नर एडॉप्टेड अ रिजोल्यूशन विच मेड उर्दू द मीडियम ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ मुस्लिम इन द प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी स्कूल्स एंड इंक्रीज गवर्नमेंट एड टू द एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन रन बाई मुस्लिम सी विलियम हंटर वर्ल्ड हिस्टोरियन इज देयर ही रिटर्न वन बुक इंडियन मुसलमान एंड इन दैट बुक ही कम्युनिकेटेड दैट गवर्नमेंट शुड गिव सम रिलेक्सेशन कंसेशन टू मुस्लिम एंड आफ्टर दैट ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट एडॉप्टेड डिवाइड एंड रूल पॉलिसी सो फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज देयर इफ एड विल बी गिवेन मनी विल बी गिवेन टू एनी एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन सो गवर्नमेंट शुड गिव नो इशू इफ गवर्नमेंट इज गिविंग Hindu and Muslim both that is very good. But here I have taught you that government given aid to those educational institution run by Muslims because they wanted to create a rift between Hindu and Muslim. First point clear. Now second they try to create hatred among the Hindu and Muslim by portraying Muslim rulers as a plunder, plunderers. Hindu rulers were cruel king to their Muslim subject. Means historians also written like this. They try to justify the partition of Bengal was convincing the Muslims that Bengal was being partitioned to create a new Muslim majority province where the Hindu would not able to subvert their interest. They try to utilize the caste structure. to turn non brahmin and lower caste against high caste means at at each and every point they wanted to divide indian society they treated hindu muslim and sikhs as a separate communities and accepted their communal leaders as a authentic representative of all their co religiousness they try to spread communal hatred through the press poster literature and public platform second point next point the relative background of the muslim community in education trade and industries the communal and separatist trend of the thinking grew among the muslim to the some extent because of their relative back- backwardness in education trade and industries the upper class muslims comprising zamindars aristocrats during the first 70 years of 19th century were anti british they were conservative and hostile to modern education because of this the number of muslims educated in western system of education remained small and in if anybody will be not educated not got western education so they will not get job because british government was there british system was there and in british system western education was necessary and orthodox system was existed rigid system was existed in islam so that's why they <laughs> studied traditional education like uh, persian language they studied urdu they studied so they have not got job the british government in india had consi consciously discriminated against the muslims after 1858 holding them responsible of the uprising they were discriminated to, to in the recruitment civil and military services i have already t- taught this and the muslims community was not much involved in the growth of any organization industries here to they lagging behind so these are reasons that muslims lagging behind and some members of the muslim community did not keep up with the modern trends in social and cultural spheres this was because they were proud of their own literature own culture own tradition and if this type of rigid system will be existed in any society so that society will be not very active and if society will be not active so reformation will be not taken and society will be not developed so these uh, points we can see that these are uh, existing points we should 
अंडरस्टैंड एंड नेक्स्ट डे आई विल टीच यू द रोल ऑफ सर सैद अहमद खां एंड एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ द हिस्ट्री बाय यूरोपियन हिस्टोरियन सो टू पॉइंट्स टू थ्री पॉइंट्स आर देयर आई विल टीच यू लेटर थैंक यू